heart free and back up here. I literally want to get so much done today. Um, the house has been neglected massively because we just haven't stopped. Oh, that's my washing machine. But I hope you're all okay. So I'm up the attic as well for a portion of today. Um, and I've literally, it's half past nine. So I've got 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. I've got like nearly six hours to get loads done. Because the weekend went super fast. We had our rugby presentation. We went to see Diversity, the dance group in Cardiff. And that was just... Oh, it was superb. Like, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Um, and then it was Ruben's birthday on Sunday. We went to Bristol, uh, Noah's Ark. So, and yes, we haven't really been here. But when we have been here, it has been like literally to sleep and play. Um, so I haven't done any tidying up. So it's Tuesday. I don't know what day you'll see this. But I want to get back up the attic because I'm going to be putting away more stuff my little saving tin is um going up because i'm obviously selling stuff one lady just picked up something um at nine o'clock this morning so my rainy day fund is uh coming along nicely and yeah so the tellies are still up there i know i said last week but marcus he's just so busy love him so let's get up here is it yeah it's looking all right. So I'm going to turn you around. If you're thinking, what on earth am I wearing? I found this t-shirt. I did the moonwalk um, back in 2015 and I liked it. So I thought I'm going to wear it. So I'm going to start off with this section. So I'll show you what it looks like now. See how much bigger it looks without all the toys in there. So they have gone. And I want to, what I've been trying to do is somehow get this light out of the way. So I don't know how to do it. So I might just chuck it over there. Might position it like that. So I don't keep falling over this bit of light. No, I mean, I'll fall down the stairs. So this section from there. I want to tackle this section today. So it's holding my Christmas tree, my mother's Christmas tree. Um, that big bag by there, that's a duvet cover, but we don't need it. So I'm going to try and um, put that in a vacuum because we don't need the thicker tog at the minute because it's actually getting warm. I know, can you actually believe that I'm saying it's getting warmer? We are nearly towards the end of May. Well, not middle of May, we are. And it's still quite cool. So yeah, this is what I want to tackle and just make it a little bit more accessible when I do eventually decorate for Christmas, which will be on the, I usually like to decorate on the 2nd and the 3rd of December. So here we go. This is what I've done. I've emptied these two so far. So my mother bought these for the kids. They like little canvas um, felt bins with these little tags on. And so I'm just going through arts and crafts for Christmas, colouring books, bedding. I've got a black bag of, of stuff already. Um, yeah, so it's taking shape. Look how adorable this little guy is. I had off my dad and my stepmother as a reindeer. All made out of wood. Um, yeah, so it's taking shape, kind of. Um, I can't stop sneezing and itching. I've taken a Pyrrhizen. So I am trying to free up as many bags. Um, that bag is coming along well. But I really need to get my mother a Christmas tree bag. We've got one. We've got a seven foot tree. Don't know what size tree this is. Oh, this is a seven foot as well, but this is my mother's, but that's the way it's been packed. I don't think I've got any other tape, uh, apart from cellar tape, to like wind it up so that it, it shuts properly so it doesn't get dusty. Um, 
yeah and then the kids have also got one each for their bedroom so yeah it's just finding out now what kind of storage i can use um to put these away in safely i don't know if anybody's the same but when we undecorate the house we always declutter because what we find is we buy new things and then if for some odd reason it can never get in the box the same way it come out and I know that's obviously due to like professional people packaging them like the companies but we always seem to accumulate more stuff once we try trying to get the decorations down so what I like to do is declutter um, and get rid of things um whilst i'm packaging everything away so i'm going to turn you around and show you what we did i like to take my tree down to be honest my tree is down boxing day if we haven't got something on if we haven't got like somewhere to go i don't i think for the last yeah two years um with covid i don't think we've been anywhere on on Boxing Day. So on the 26th of December, I like to take the tree down, give it a good clean. Um, but I'm gonna show you now what I've done. So as you can kind of see, I've already kind of organized it, put it into sections. So these boxes are just easy for me and Marcus to grab. And then there's the tree, but then along the way, um, I found things and I know things have been gathered around the house. So what I want to try and do is get that stuff into there so I know exactly then where I am. So that's the big tree. So I haven't got to worry about that. But yeah, there's stuff in there that I just want to rearrange um, and just make sure things are not getting crushed and broken. There's some things that I need to have on hand before I put up the decorations. You know, these little guys. So we have got Ralph and Hank. That's our names of our elf on the shelf. So this is a beautiful Letters to Santa. I picked it up and it's incredible. It's like magic. So I picked this up and it was £3.50, but it would have originally been 15 quid from that Matt Land shop. So yeah, there's some things in your, like Ralph um, and Hank, that I need to have before I need to have it basically on the 30th of November for when the elves come the next day. This box isn't exactly full. So what I like to do, I like to have like the reindeer food and the magic and the glitter and the, you sprinkle it on for the reindeers. So this, this wasn't exactly full. So then what I've got then, it's like fake snow, got it in a sandwich bag, got little games then for, got these little bats and shuttlecocks for when the elves play games so i'm gonna get rid of this and use it for something else and i'm gonna put it in there um to free up some space does anybody else pack away their air fresheners for christmas was it just me Stuff like this, Glade, Forest Berries, I can't have that any other time of year. So I keep it in amongst all the other stuff. I think I've got a cinnamon one. Got an apple, apple cinnamon. Keep that in amongst all the Christmas stuff. So everything is where it needs to be. So I'm doing good. Doing really good. So I'm using these felt bins, so that is Harrison's um, bedroom decorations, that's Ruben's bedroom decorations. I got this Christmas bag, dear Santa I can explain. 
So in there is the Christmas bedding. So I want to put that in one of these bags to protect it. Put it in one of them boxes. Um, but yeah, I found that new bedding. The snowman haven't been used. And then me personally, I like to reuse bags. I don't think... I can't remember the last time I bought a gift bag because I like to reuse them um, and reuse them and then I give them away and then we always have more back. When uh, Covid hit two years ago, I thought I was doing the right thing by buying this like brown old fashioned wrapping paper and then just being really cute and using like string to tie it up just to save the planet no i i think this is why i have so many cellar tapes because this it doesn't fold it's not it's not that crinkly material where if you fold it it stays you have to plaster it in cellar tape which defeats the object of cutting down on plastic um so I'm going to stick it out and use this now for the last year. But this has lasted me so many years. Well, this is last, if I bought this in 2020, 2020, I, I, I've used this for two years. And I don't know how many meters I bought. But I just wrapped all the presents in this. So I'm going to use it again now for this Christmas. And then I'm just going to invest in some better... Um, parcel paper um, to save the planet okay I think I'm actually done so it's I reckon I've been up here hour and a half I started at a half nine and I've just now finished and I'm happy with how we look you know that things are safe now we're not getting crashed or trampled on come out of the light a bit yeah so I know come 30th of November I, I can grab that box to start to win you know what. Got each one of the kids' Christmas trees and then I can give this to my mother. I think my mother likes to decorate quite early. So I know that that's her box and that's her tree and I have we haven't got to come up here and be like sweating and being like panicking and ruining things. So I, I can see everything. So I've got them to give back to my mother and father-in-law they like to do a Christmas Eve box I've got all the gift bags and then I got the kids trays and all the house decorations I don't go mad decorating for Christmas um, you know we just do a Christmas tree in the main living room a couple of bits throughout the house kids have a Christmas tree in their bedroom but they they only I don't know three four foot uh, Halloween is the kind of the the season I like to decorate. Um, so yeah, that's all done. And then this is obviously this section. All that is clothes, memorabilia, my childhood stuff, the kids stuff I can't get rid of, Halloween and just house stuff that I haven't put up and presents, Christmas presents. Um, so there is two bags that I'm going to put online, see if anybody wants them. There's a couple of pair of Christmas pyjamas, a Christmas jumper and um, black and gold Christmas decorations. Um, if they don't want them, I'll see if the school wants the decorations because they, they always want some stuff. I was able to find more summer clothes, so I'm going to chuck them down and give them a wash. Yeah, I really enjoy coming up the attic. I love coming up here and just looking at what i've got realize there's a few things that i didn't grab from last year um, and i can use for this year i know we're in may but it's just always nice to see what we've got i don't tend to buy um like home stuff for christmas um i think what i've got is enough i know some people can go absolutely bonkers with decorating every single room in the house but the little setup that we've got, I, I like it and it looks cosy. Um, the be the kids' bedrooms, they like to be like all the crazy wacky colours. And then downstairs, 
I do like to have it quite traditional, um, not too tacky. Um, but yeah, I can't wait now to have a nice cup of tea because I think I deserved one. See now who wants them stuff. Um, but yeah, I feel like the more I'm getting into it, the more I'm like donating, the more stuff that I'm finding. Um, well, yeah, to donate, to declutter, to give away to charity, to sell. Um, so they do say you should go around your house quite fre frequently with a bag and it's like grab a bag and just declutter your house. Um, so I'm, this will probably be happening now for the next few weeks. Um, I have got quite a lot going on now. So I don't I doubt very much I would be able to be up here every Tuesday and Thursday. But if I could sneak an hour year in there, um I could really stay up here till three o'clock today, but I don't want to because you've got to do it in short sharp um like spells because otherwise you'll get well you get a bit bored, you know, when you're like, Oh, that'll do and I don't want to have that mentality. I want it to be like, right, I was excited this morning, dropped the kids to school and I was excited to get up, yeah. Um, but I have because I've neglected my house downstairs and I don't know when you'll see this video and when you'll see the other video. Um, I've got to go downstairs now and clean the living room because we've neglected that. So mm hmm Let's get to it. So I'm gonna wash my face and wash my hands. Because they're black. Surprising. Surprising how much dust and soot and muck is up here. Um, and that's why I want to get up here. Because I've got beautiful clothes up here. For the seasons. And I think when I put my wardrobe up there. That it will protect all my clothes. And I haven't got to wash them. Because I've just found a bag of clothes for the kids summer. And I think I have to wash them. Because I don't know um how long they've been there and if they've been on the floor whereas if i put them in the hoover bags wrap them up really tight get them in the wardrobe then i know that i haven't got to wash them because it's not really dirty yet but it's just in some sections it's got a little bit of dust you then everywhere so yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you so take care everybody and stay safe and stay warm bye